fingertips and memories Coffee and Omega cookies They make me feel at home Father, brother, mother, dear You're so far but feel right here No matter how far I go So today's going to be another realistic what I eat in a day with an emphasis on gut health. <laughs> Probably will hear my daughter playing in the background. But yeah, I feel like there's just little things you can add into your routine for your gut health. And the better your gut feels, the better you'll feel. It's said that the gut is the second brain. One thing that I notice with gut health is if I'm actually trying and doing these little things, I have better skin, I have better digestion, I'm less bloated and I can maintain a flatter stomach, less brain fog. Around like 2 p.m., 3 p.m., I'll start to feel like, ah, I need coffee when really I just need to start practicing better gut health. One of the first things that's so important that I neglect, but it's such a simple thing, is warm lemon water. Have that first thing in the morning. So you guys have seen me post about that before. That's really nothing new, but it's not something that I do consistently. Sometimes I just wake up and especially like as a new mom, I'm like, I need coffee right now. But today we're not gonna do that. Not until we get back from the walk, which is also for gut health, my morning walk, cause it aids in digestion and it gets your body moving. You've just been sleeping for so long. So you have to think about things like that, that you've just been sleeping, your body is dehydrated, why go right to coffee that's going to make it even worse and while i'm drinking this i do take a probiotic so i was a little nervous when i started this probiotic because it says take on an empty stomach and i'm somebody that if i take vitamins on an empty stomach it's like Ugh, it's hit or miss so one of my friends turned me on to the seed probiotics and I love the color of them, by the way. I love that they're green. The whole reason why probiotics, this is actually a probiotic and prebiotic, is good for gut health is because it's going to add in good bacteria. It also makes you regular. And I know that this is like, I don't know, awkward conversation, but whenever you're talking about gut health, you have to talk about poop. The more backed up you get, the more bloated you'll feel, the more uncomfortable you'll feel. And I've said in a previous video, that it actually turns toxic in your body, that you have to be going regular. So it's really important for me to go first thing in the morning. If I don't wanna feel bloated, I take one of these and my lemon water, and I actually am able to go before the morning walk. And I know it's too much, but you have to hear this if we're talking about gut health. If someone's not talking about this, then you're not really diving into gut health. So that has been my routine these past two weeks is I take one of these. I have warm lemon water, hopefully, um, but I'm getting back into it. But this I've been so regular with. Go use the bathroom, and then my morning walk is amazing. I remember I used to hear people talk about this, like, oh yeah, go to the bathroom first thing in the morning. And I'm like, how can you control that? Like time it out. But now I realize that there's things that are going to help you with that. And that's the other thing. If you're somebody that you do get constipated and you get bloated. And for me, if I'm bloated, it's so uncomfortable and I have like a little like bloated belly. Um, prebiotics and probiotics are really great for that. They're going to just keep you regular because they're adding good bacteria in your system. The outfit for the walk. Can someone tell me why is it so cold in New York in the morning? I have my teddy jacket on. I have cute workout pants on. I'll show you the outfit when we get back. The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing Okay, once we get back in, that's when I make my coffee. The new coconut and espresso pod is amazing. So I make a shot and then I add hot water and I turn it into an Americano. Bam, we're done. I love editing. And then I add in collagen. Collagen actually repairs your gut lining. If you want to hear more about that, you should YouTube Dr. Axe and he talks all about the benefits of collagen with your gut health. And you can find all these products on Thrive Market. We're actually doing a Thrive Market haul in this video, so you guys will see some stuff. And then I've been loving the Chobani Sweet Cream Creamer. I never wear skirts, who is she? Hello, hi. Anyway, then the next thing I've been doing, try not to eat too many times a day, because I am listening to Be Well by Kelly's second book. 
I actually bought, I'm, it's on audio right now. I actually bought her second book by accident. I didn't know I was buying her second book, but it doesn't matter because I feel like I already knew a lot about her first book. But if you're new to Be Well by Kelly, you should definitely check her out. She's a celebrity nutritionist and she just like breaks it down and makes it so simple. But basically her big core group of food is protein, fat, greens, and fiber. And she calls it her Fab Four smoothie. And basically you take all of those things and you put them in a smoothie. So I kind of already knew that, but this book kind of goes into detail about how you can practice the Fab Four food groups just in your everyday eating. So you're gonna see that for lunch today, I'm going to have chicken soup. Before I was listening to the book, I was just having regular chicken soup or soup sometimes. And like, I love soup for gut health. Having warm meals throughout the day and cooked meals can be really helpful and healing on your gut kind of inspired me like add some greens to your soup so we're gonna do that in a little bit um, but just as like a quick snack okay so this is not needed but it's so fun and I also did this for dinner so when we make dinner together you guys will see but I love creating bowls like this and basically just putting in fruit that you got for the week and cleaning and rinsing it all off so in here we have two peaches left we had like a bunch more but we've just been eating them it's cherry season. That's something I love, love, love about the summer is cherries. And then some blackberries from my neighbor's farm. I like to make my snacks cute. We can portion control a lot better when we put it all out. Like if I were to just go sit on the couch with these, I would just eat the whole thing. Practicing good gut health and all of that, I really have to care about portion control and how often I'm eating. So something else with gut health that could be really important is you don't wanna eat a million times a day. Instead of like five meals or six meals or snacking throughout the day, if you're constantly eating and your body is constantly digesting, think of your body like a machine. It's constantly put being put at work. When you stop eating and give yourself space and give yourself time to digest, your body can start to break down that food and it can also work on other things like cell turnover. People even like to do this for anti-aging benefit. That's just something that we've been trying to practice. So then I'll have some cherries and then I will have a peach. How good does this look? So I have the peaches, cherries, crackers, burrata. This is a little bit of fresh burrata that we have here. I am so excited for this. <laughs> Me, every time I Thrive Market box comes in the mail. Okay, so the next part of my what I eat that I want to show you guys is what I get in my Thrive box. So. I've been a Thrive member forever now. I do a lot of these hauls on my YouTube channel. I, I kind of do them monthly. This video is in collaboration with Thrive Market. And something I have to say, just like a side note, is two of my friends are pregnant right now, like first time moms. And they were reaching out to me and Jared just asking like what has been the most helpful as like new parents. Something that my husband said that I like overlooked and didn't even think about is he was like, we do so many food delivery services and grocery delivery services. That has been a game changer because before you're a parent, your time is like all day and then you become a parent and it's like, I thought it was like cut in half your time. It's like mostly cut, like most of my time mom life, dad life, work life, and all of that. I'm even filming this video because she's at her grandparents' house right now. They're visiting with her. So, or like I said, you're just like busy and you don't have time. Drive Market is such a lifesaver. It's an online retail store and it's basically like my online little health food store. I find healthy salad dressings there, snacks, organic wine, meal kits. They have so many fun things. They have household products like hand wash. Like they literally have everything. Just go on their website. Um, and check it out. But yeah, I'll show you guys some of the stuff I got this month. As you guys just saw, I love my snacks. So does my husband. So we got these organic cheddar cheesy smiles. <laughs> these are by the brand Annie's, which a lot of you guys probably have heard of. She has like healthy mac and cheese and like all, all the like things that we grew up eating, she has but healthier. Thrive sells the Annie's brand, which I love, especially because Violet's gonna be having these. So that's the other reason why we've been loving snack time is because, I mean, today my daughter's with her grandma, but 99% of the time she's here having a snack with me. I love making a big plate and her picking off of it now that she's 10 months, um, but she loves like puffs and this kind of stuff. And the next thing I got, I never tried these. So I saw these online and I was like, wait, I have to get these. And they are artichoke chips. Like, what don't they make a chip now? There's like cauliflower chips, kale chips, quinoa chips. There's so many different kinds of chips. Artichoke chips, uh, yeah. They kind of look like regular potato chips. Oh my God. They taste like a potato chip. 
I thought they would kind of be like, you know how kale chips are like, they have like a chip consistency, but like they taste green. This actually tastes like a potato chip. Yum. That's the other great thing about Thrive is the way you search their website. You could search like vegan, non-GMO, keto, BPA free. Like you can go on and search different categories. And when I was on there, I searched new. Like I wanted to see like what new things that they had. Um, and that came up and I was like, I have to try it. So since this video is definitely centered around gut health and all of that, I wanted to get more of the Primal Kitchen Collagen Fuel Chocolate Coconut Collagen Peptide Drink Mix. So when I'm making Be Well by Kelly's Fab Four Smoothie, the protein, fat, greens, and fiber, sometimes I like adding collagen instead of protein powder. And I've tried a couple different collagen brands and this one is the best thing I got is actually a bulk item. So Thrive has different things that you can buy in bulk and it's Hue, H-U chocolate. They're vegan, they're paleo, they are organic. This one's 70% cacao to a health coach and um, like a holistic health person. She basically said that when you're buying dark chocolate, because she loves to recommend that to her clients, you want a higher percentage of cacao because cacao is chocolate at its like truest form and chocolate, like the sugary chocolate that we have is more processed. Okay, the next thing I got sounds absolutely delicious. Again, when I typed new on Thrive, this came up and it's their organic heavy coconut cream perfect for whipped cream. You know how sometimes you just wanna be dairy free? Like I get in those moods. I eat dairy. I don't always want like thick whipped cream and I think this would be nice for Violet too. And then the last two things that I got are the organic coconut milk by Thrive. So this is Thrive Markets brand. And I get organic coconut milk for my coconut curry that I like to make. So if you guys are interested in making a very simple coconut curry sauce that you can pour over anything, I like to pour it over shredded chicken and rice. Um, but it's basically just organic coconut milk, honey, and curry powder, and a little salt. It is delicious. It's just those ingredients. And you need one full can, so I always have two as like backup. We have that meal a lot in this house. It's on rotation. So that is everything that I got from Thrive this month. What's cool about Thrive is you become a member. So when you become a member, you actually save money on all of your favorite brands. When you shop on Thrive Market, you're actually shopping below retail value. So you're saving money when you become a member and they have two different membership options. The first membership option is just one month. It's great for anybody that just wants to give it a try and it comes to $9.95 a month. And then the second membership option is the one that I do, the one year membership, and it only comes to $5 a month. When you choose that membership, you can actually save 25% off your first order plus a free gift. Okay, so for lunch, I'm reheating the chicken soup that I made in my last video, so I will leave that down below. Also, don't mind my neck. I use this new self-tanner and I only sprayed the front, so awkward. So yeah, I'm just having some chicken soup, which like I said in that video, soup doesn't sound super summery, but it's great on your gut. And then my neighbor invited me over to pick some kale from his farm that's in his yard. And how beautiful does this look? So I added it in my soup. I got the idea from Gwyneth Paltrow's book. She always adds kale in her soup. And look at how delicious. Hey, yeah, yeah, we're focus. <laughs> so now I just want to show you guys what I got from H&M. I like don't even remember. Oh, this I remember. I have a mirror right here. That's what I'm looking at. So this silky top, this is cute. It's just like a silky. I'm just gonna try things on like this, you know, because I'm a busy mom. I have to make dinner, and she'll be coming home any minute for dinner. And I got this ribbed dress. Oh. That is cute. You guys know I've had a lot of fun with these chain belts. So the one I got, I like, it's just a little long. This one on H&M looks like it was maybe a little shorter. So it looks like this. So these are really fun to wear with bathing suits. Like you can wear them over your jeans. You can kind of wear them above. Like this is one trendy item that I'm like, let's go for it. Like see if I wore it today, it kind of just dresses up the skirt. I just thought this crop top color was so cute. So I love my crop tops. It would even be cute with this skirt or like pretend this is jeans. Just like a cute like 90s look. I love, love, love the color for summer. And I feel like this would also be a cute like transitioning into fall. Um, tank top. I know I like think of things like that. It's funny because there's a local farm and it has tons of apple trees 
and pumpkins and all that. In the summer, it doesn't have that, but in the fall time, it has like all the fall stuff. I said something to the owner. I was like, oh, I can't wait for fall. Like, this is gonna be so fun. Like, apple picking here, pumpkin picking. And she was like, you shut your mouth, Sam. You don't talk about fall right now. We are enjoying our summer. And I was like, all right, because I like skip out on winters in New York. Like, I just, I, I hide from winter. I'm always somewhere really warm for winter, so. Yeah, <laughs> she like put me in my place and was like, you don't talk about fall right now. But then there's also me that loves fall. And speaking of that, I did get something for fall. How cute are these chunky boots? I saw them on the website, not in the market for boots right now. It's not cold enough for boots right now, but also me buys boots right now. Last but not least, just a plain basic white crop top. Like I live, look, fits perfect. I live in white crop top. All right, so I'm back changed into sweatpants and my slippers. We have like the most random thing ever that we have been getting our meal inspiration from. This is for me, OG Sam, because when I first started my health and fitness journey back in, I don't know, 2015, when I started filming videos, they were like, I didn't know a ton about health and wellness and all of that. I was like, you know, I was learning and teaching, but learning too, like you guys were kind of like watching my journey. And yes, there was Pinterest there, but I feel like I didn't always use Pinterest and utilize it as best as I could. So I used to always get these magazines at the grocery store, you know, the ones that are like just food and recipes. And I'd make things from like, there's this one where it's a cherry pie and I have it on my channel. And I was like, so into the magazine. But I have to say, these are the freaking best. So it's just at Whole Foods and it's called Fast and Fresh Simple Healthy Dinners. There's certain things that I don't like that's in this, but it's basically just to give you inspo. So it's called the, gr the Grilled Veggie Pasta Salad. But how like delicious, like when you think of summer, I think of salads, I think of pasta salads. This is what I wanted to show you. We also made another bowl. This one is a little more aesthetically pleasing because my husband made it. The recipe doesn't call for garlic, but like it really scares me to cook without it. Like I just don't even know how, so. <laughs> We're so I'm just trimming the asparagus. Okay, so I'm just taking inspo from the recipe because I definitely put my own twist on it and it came out amazing. So I am grilling the zucchini with some garlic, olive oil, salt, and pepper for 10 minutes. And then it says to add in the asparagus for the last three minutes and then take out the zucchini chop it and put it all in a bowl and the flavors just pop and come alive. This wasn't in the recipe, but I did want to make a little salmon on the side because there was just no protein in the recipe. So we love to have protein during dinner. I try to have it with all my meals. Then the recipe calls for fresh oregano, a purple onion, and then I put my own twist on it by adding a little cherry tomatoes. Put it all in a bowl and you have the perfect summer salad. Then I thought this was interesting. It said to add in a balsamic vinegar. So I used Primal Kitchen balsamic, which is a healthier, no sugar added. You can find this on Thrive Market, mix it all in, and I served it with salmon, Parmesan cheese, and a little salt. Thank you guys so much for watching.